everybody, good evening, how are you doing? This is your favorite entrepreneur, Jorge George Hernandez. I'm here with the beautiful, the lovely, the one and only... <laughs> Lisa Betts Diaz. And... Daniel Castro. So hey, good evening guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. We truly appreciate you. So we have been working extremely hard, hard. you know, this incredible woman has been on the phone 24-7, making sure that this event takes place. Yes. You heard it here first. You know, it's been all over social media, especially you're finding us. It's also, tell them where it's at in, uh, uh, as far as the golf pages. Tell them where they can find it and what we have been sharing so they can know a little bit about what's going on. Because we, some people started listening. Yes. Some people said, "What's who is this people? Said, who's Lisa? They said, who's Friends for Life? Yeah. They said, what's going on? Yes. Tell us what happened, Lisa. Hi. So I am Lisa Diggs, the founder of Friends for Life Resource Center. Thank you, George. So Friends for Life is having a celebrity golf event in Jackson Park May the 20th. And we posted our event on social media at Chicago Park Golf Alliance, the organization that was hired by Tiger Woods to renovate the golf hired course. Hired by who? Tiger Woods. So, and, and what's the name of the organization again? Chicago Park Golf Alliance. Okay. They saw the flyer and they inquired about who Friends for Life was because our flyer was shared more than events Tiger Woods <laughs> was a part of. So. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Yes. So that just goes to, to show just the grassroots that we have available to us and just the power of social media. So if you're out there getting a message, if you got friends and family that are posting a message, do them a favor and share because look at the eyes and the ears that perked up and took a look and are wondering, who is this woman? Who is this organization? All because people are out there are pressing a, a one buy and share. You know, it doesn't yes. take an, a, any extra from your time. Going to look us up. But more importantly, now we're impacting our children. Tell us why that's important. Why, the, why is it that the fact that that organization notices? Why is that important to the, this event that we're going to have on Monday, May 20th, uh, next in, in a couple of days? And what's, why, why is that important? Okay, it's important because in South Shore, there are two main golf courses, the South Shore Golf Course and Jackson Park Golf Course. One of the issues in South Shore is we have a high crime rate among our youth. And our program, our organization, Friends for Life Resource Center, wanted to step out of what was normal in, in, in regards to mentoring. And so we decided to do the caddy program to also teach the youth something different, but to also allow them the opportunity to be able to be employable over the summertime. I want, I want to stop you. He, she said step out. So we're asking everybody out there to step out and go do something different. Yes. Insanity is what? Doing the same, same thing? Same thing over and over and over. So if you're find, do, finding yourself doing the same thing over and over again and you get the same exact results, go do something different. Yes. It's okay. Step out. Yes. Step, yes. Say with me, step out. Step out. Step, step out, out, right? Yes. So, not, not, so tell us more about the caddy program. So we taught the youth six weeks program, and the youth learn how to caddy. And what we wanted to do, we wanted to do something a little special, more special than that. We wanted to go a little further. So we decided to raise funds by having a celebrity golf tournament and allow those youth who successfully completed the six-week caddy program to caddy that day for a celebrity team. So they can just get the ambiance of how I feel to be around affluent individuals and also to caddy for a celebrity tournament. Wow. Yes. So not only the, 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 the Tiger Woods organization has their eyes looking at, at what's going on, not only are we helping the children, you know, with the caddy program, the caddy program also, for those of you that don't know, it also have a scholarship attached to yes. it. If, if children continue to caddy, you know, after their high school and they pursue just caddy, not golfing, not being a golfer, let me be very specific, but just being a caddy. Not only are you making stipend available, so the babies are going to have yes. money. So if you want your child, 13 to 17, to have, you know, some change in their pocket, here's an opportunity. But more importantly, if you've been scratching your head thinking, how am I going to get my baby through college? Yes. You know, they're, they're, I was a C student. I was an average student. I got through scholarships, you know, I'm, I'm grateful. In college, they believed in me, and I was able yes. to be on the dean's list. But let's get our babies there. So here's an opportunity get for children to scholarship. get full-ride scholarships. Yes, guys. the it's Chuck Evans Scholarship 
caddy program. <laughs> Actually, we just had a young man two of them that was honored at the Jackson Park Fieldhouse a couple of weeks ago, and Tiger Woods actually wrote a personal letter to the two gentlemen that won the scholarships to so, college. Yeah, full so, ride, four year. So we're going to try to have them on the show as a guest so they can yes. share their experience, so they can just let you know how you can start getting your children on the step to doing this, and also how we can get them to step out and do something different. Yes. Not only, so this is taking place Monday, May 29th. You said you Yes, yes. yes I, I want to say the community is invited to participate in this. Not only a person who has business, a uh, whole the community can, uh, can participate in, in this event and uh, bring the, the kids some, something to do and uh, try to get this one uh, not only for the first time, but more times yes. that are coming. A continuous. We, mm -hmm. We're definitely going to do this every year. I think it's a great opportunity to expose the community to something different as well as the children, but just to come out and have fun and support a local organization like Friends for Life Resource Center, we definitely need the help, and we definitely need to detour some of this violence in our community among our youth, yes. That's, that's important, because that's the main thing that we're doing is because even, even though there's a lot of laws that are being affected by legalizing marijuana, one of there's a lot of laws that are being affected by helping individuals with certain substances. Our children are still taking it to just go out there and hustle. You know yes. what I'm saying? And that's one of the things that we want to deter because that opens gateways to other things. And and both of us are coming for experiences where that's the path that we walk. Yes. And that's the path that we want to avoid other people from taking because we know where that's going. So this is why we're making sure that people are now learning how they can not only participate, but also step out and do something different that's yes. going to be beneficial for, for them as a member of the community, more important for these children. So, so, so I'm excited about this event taking place again Monday, May 20th, just right around the corner. You know, uh, so we're inviting everybody to come on out. Yes, spectators, community businesses, golfers, anyone that wants to come out and just, you know, forge a friendship with Friends for Life and just come on out and support. We're looking forward to it. I'm excited. So as we're talking about stepping out and doing alternative to things, doing different things, what other programs as well that we have available for the children that we've been working on as, as far as, you know, that you've been meeting with the members of different organizations? Well, definitely. We have a program right after this one through Model Masters, and we're going to be teaching the youth aviation. Mm. Yes, they're going to be able to actually take real flight lessons, learn everything about aviation, be able to compete with uh, model airplanes, and actually learn how to fly drones. So, for free. All of these programs are free to the community, free. yes. And this is why having a fundraiser is very important. We need your support to continue offering these programs at no fee to the children. So we're, we're just excited because, again, after the, 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 the CADI program, after this event, we're going to go ahead and go into the aviation, teach not only just the dynamics of that, but more importantly, what's going on right now with the technology. The drone technology just, like, has been a wave. Yes. Like, in all these music videos, like, just in marketing and yes. branding, a lot of people have started using this, and it has become its own, like, position that yes. is very, not only very remarkable, but ludicrous as well. So that allows your children now to not only be an entrepreneur, but think about a specific business, but at the end of the day, just have a great time stepping out and doing Learning something different. something different, technology. Actually, they're going to be using the drones to drop off packages like UPS and FedEx. So technology, technology, wow. technology yeah, so is so, the future. Mm, yes. drop, dropping things out, so I'm yes. just excited about that. One of the reasons we have Mr. Castro here with us, and I'm just excited about him, because he's working with the financial literacy program that we're also putting in place, is we're putting everything in here, not just for the children, but also for the parents, you know, of individuals, just to educate everybody and not only finance, because ultimately yes. we want to make sure that we take care of everything in, in, in an individual and more specifically focusing on the finance. But tell us a little bit more about the financial programs, Mr. Castro. Well, the financial programs is uh, for all the community, especially people who has, um, let's say, they don't have like insurance yes. or investments or retirement or they're going to be doing the retirement so we can help them to give them some ideas how they can be that retirement better and better. So, so you're going to teach individuals how to become their own bank pretty much? 
Usually. <laughs> yes. Yes. So yes. one of the things that I'm excited about is that we also have scholarships available. You know, so I want to shout out to uh, Ma Mark Loveless. You know, uh, he's an incredible individual that has made scholarship available for individuals in the LGBTQ community to not only get licensed with the state of Illinois, but also to help us in the financial literacy programs that we're enacting because we're going to have a lot of children. And, 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 and to be honest with you, we want to be effective individuals. Yes. I mean, we, we want to keep the classroom sizes small, so we need more people. So come on out, get yes. licensed. You can take that license and use it anywhere you want. doesn't specifically, but there's scholarships available for members of the LGBTQ community. Thanks to Mark Ludwig from the, uh, the, co the coalition, you know, the Equal Rights Coalition. So I'm excited about that. Yes. Thank you. So and, yeah. and you know what else I wanted to say? I, I think it's great. I, I've never seen an organization like Friends for Life that offer a variety of programs and services. We offer programs to the seniors, the youth, the LGBT community. We offer life insurance. We offer literacy programs. We offer mentoring program. We offer domestic violence, youth intervention. We offer a lot of programs. We definitely need help and support. Great organization. I'm proud yeah, of you all. Proud no, 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 of what we, we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, and, that's, and that's one of the things that I'm excited about is because, like, we, we've both been in situations where we didn't want, want to walk. Like, I'll, I'll share for myself, you know, I'm coming from spending five years in jail. I'm coming from, I spent 15 months of those five years in the hole. I'm coming from, you know, the south side of Chicago where we're trying to flip and, 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 a pinch pinch the penny to make a dollar, literally, right? Yes. So we're, we're trying to make sure that we can happen, but at the same time, we know what's needed because I, I had some programs available growing up, and I'm grateful for that. Then there were some programs yes, available when definitely, you were growing definitely. up. But as we see, they're becoming non existent. Yes. A lot of these places are vacant buildings now that are just broken windows. So and we're trying to, we're not we're trying, but we're actively making sure that there's something different available for the children to continue to empower them because that's our future. Right, exactly. So, Lisa, share with the, the well, Mr. Fisher. Yeah, I, I'm going to say about two, about the life insurance and some and other programs they call uh, living benefits that people need to know too about it. And, uh, oh, that's, that's, that's right. Talking about the living benefits, Mr. Castro, thank you for, br for bringing that up. And you two guys right there, I'm going live over here, guys, <laughs> you know, on Facebook, so I'm just excited. How many people out there go live, right? How many people go live, right? Yeah. Go live. And how many people enjoy going live and using their social media just camera, right? So we're, we're excited. So everybody out there, so one of the things that we are offering, we are offering a free benefits card. So we're so grateful. It's free to you. The, orga the organization is paying for it. So what you're able to do now is get discounts on your prescription. So if you're paying too much for your prescription and you're just paying money out of pocket, why not get a car where you can get some discounts, right? If you can get some discounts on your dental, you know, get some dental dental work done as well. You know, make make sure because that, that's one thing that's also we're always lacking and looking for is some type of dental coverage. Another thing that I like is also for hearing, anything having to hearing, but more importantly, uh, uh, also is for glasses. Huh? So one of the things that we're, we're making sure is that we're not only providing individuals with the tools that they need, the information that they need, but also the benefits that are that you're entitled to. Yes. If, if you're entitled to something, don't you want it? Yes. If you're yes. entitled to something, don't you want it? <laughs> I mean, if I'm entitled to something, I want the whole thing. I don't know Give about you, that's just me. me. Would you want it? Yes. 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 That's great right. organization, variety so, of programs. So I'm, just, yes. I'm just excited. So I'm going to share the flyer with you guys real quick, just so you guys can take a look and see what's going on there. there uh, let, me, let me zoom in real quick. So how about that? And right. That's where that's that's the day. That's the eighteenth. We had a typo, so May the eighteenth. You can register up until May the eighteenth. We changed the date, and if you want to register, you just go on uh, to our website www dot friends for life resource center dot org and you can register there is a fee you have to look online to see what it is but please come out have a great time and support oh we also have the list George did you want to we have a list of several of the uh, celebrities that have confirmed and we are going to pull it up drum yes. roll I do know Eric Sotomayor Celebrity it's, golf event would not be a celebrity I golf did, event you, without it, celebrities. So let's make sure that hey everybody, okay. how's it going? So let's make sure let's see. So here we go. Okay. So this we got right here, everybody mm -hmm. here. We have Eric Sodom. Let's start from there. 
Er, Eric Soderholm, former Major League baseball, baseball player from the Twins, White Sox, the Rangers, and the Yankees. So wow. for all the baseball fans, come on out, take some picture with Eric. Cliff Levinson's former NBA championship with the Bulls. So come on, Ooh. come come take some pictures, you know, especially if you guys got a jersey. You know, Todd Search from the Jerry Springer Show. Yes. You know, he's a stage manager on there. For those of you that are looking for broadcasting and in a radio, a television opportunity, here's up somebody that you can just be in contact with, ask them some questions, print the yes. frames, come network. Michael Ingram, former pro basketball player, uh, player overseas, uh, led teams to the playoffs and was MVP twice, played for you, uh, for University of Iowa. So again, Michael Ingram is also going to be here, former basketball player, so baseball fans, basketball fans coming out if you're in broadcasting coming out. We also got Mr. Who, Montel, Montel Griffin. Montel Griffin, that's my so. boy. You know, I'm a boxing fan and you know, anything with boxing is my first passion of my love and Montel just got inducted into the Boxing Hall of Fame so congratulations Montel. Great job, great job. So, yes. so come, in with a, with a, come get a picture with a Hall of Famer. Come network. Yes, I don't know about you, but famer. don't you want to be in a Hall of Fame? If you're thinking how many people want to be in the Hall of Fame, so just talk to somebody that's already there so you can see how you get there. Because I don't know about you, but I've been told the mentorship is not only important, but if, if somebody knows something... Nine times out of ten, they could teach me how to do yes, that thing that definitely. they know how to do, right? Yes, yes. So why not ask those individuals that have already done and achieved the things that we want how they did it? Yes. I bet you they're going to say, yeah, I can help you. I can I can give you a hand, give you some piece of advice. So I'm just excited for that. And finally, we also have our, 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 our guest, last but not least, Stephen Bardo, former NBA player, sports analyst for Illinois Sports Network, Illini Sports Network, sports reporter for WBMTV in Chicago, an analyst and reporter for CBS Sports, and a color analyst for college basketball and ESPN and Big Ten Network. So again, that's just a few. That's just that's a few. Just a few. More, we more have to others come. to come. From what I, from what I'm looking here, if I'm looking into doing some type of broadcasting, if I'm looking into doing some type of radio, some type of media, I would like to be here because there's going to be two individuals that can potentially give me some nuggets, just maybe a couple of, <laughs> you know, comments or some yes. things. Maybe even a phone number that could open yes. a door. Maybe in a window so I could crawl in. I, I, <laughs> some type of something. some type of opportunity. Yes. Right. And also. If you're if you like baseball, you know, coming now we're gonna have some incredible individuals, you know, MVPs twice. And you know, golfers, there are gonna be plenty golfers of golfers well. there. And if you yes. like the basketball, so, so coming out, especially we, we all love the Bulls and then yes. you were there we six the times. How many rings did the Bulls Man, get? Come on, they had they had, they had, they had the things <laughs> like on. They had like this, they had the hands on. So I'm just excited about what what's going on. But more importantly, Lisa, thank you for the hard work that you're thank putting you. in. Thank I you, I appreciate it. Thank you so much it. for thank everything you. that you're doing. Just diligently, not only on the phone, you know, but making sure that everything is in order and just stressing out, you know, and, and, and bugging out. But more importantly. Making it happen. So I'm just excited. Thank you so much. Thank Super you. proud of, of you and everything that you're doing. But more importantly, what we're doing for the children. That's one of the things that I like. Yes. That you're doing all this because you want to make sure that they can step out yes. and do something different. Yes. You know, have a different experience. Especially for our culture. People. Especially for our culture. Golf was not a sport that was... Mm -hmm. prevalent our to our culture, to our culture. And so, you know, I, I just feel like all cultures should be exposed to the same opportunity. I don't think it should be one culture being more prevalent than the other culture. I believe that we all are created equal and we should have equal opportunities where, regardless to what color you are. And if it means that we need to break into the stream of golfing, then here we go. Here thank we you, go. Tiger Woods. Here we go. Yeah, thank you, Tiger Woods. Exactly. <laughs> thank you, Tiger Woods. So, and, and another thing that we since we're talking about sports and more importantly, one of the things that I've noticed is a little a, a little bit co controversial for, for me is the fact that if we look at the commercials when it comes to golf, they're not the same or similar commercials that you would see when there's a baseball game yes. or a basketball game you know, or a hockey game. We, if you look at, the, at what the markets they're catering to, you can see why there's separation. Yes, it's a yeah. division. There's a yes. division because anytime that you're looking at at, at at sport of golf, you're looking at investment firms, you're looking at insurance yes. firms, you're looking at finance. The, the commercials that appear on television are all about the money and investment and how you can put something in place. Yes. You know, and they're keeping us away whereas opposed to every other sport is about 
putting an item out the market, and even with the uh, 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 what, what, what is that kid with, with the um, I can I can I can think think, think of it with uh, with the NFL, the championship with the NFL. The the cup. Oh, hockey, the 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 cup. Yep, the, right. the cup. So even, right. so even with that, some just some just one of the things that we want to make sure is that we're just empowering yes. everybody. So I'm just I'm just just excited about yes, that. Yes, I am. Again, so May Monday, May twentieth is the event registration. As May eighteenth is the last day for registration. Uh, please give a call out to Tracy. The uh, her phone number is seven seven three four five one six four three five. Leave a message. Leave your name and your phone number. Yes. She is super busy. She's making, making sure that everything happens. Almost like making. Sure. Then she just had her son receive a scholarship. Just graduated with honors, and he was he received the Evan scholarship. So That's he we, did receive. We the want scholarship. to have on the show. We went. We're trying to bring him out here for you guys, so that you can not only hear, but if you can be available, and we're gonna have somebody in the phone that day, so you can ask some yes. questions. Because ultimately, ask the questions that you need, so maybe you can do it. Maybe you can have your child do it. Maybe that day you want to have your children come and you just sit there and say, "Look." He did it. Like, it's possible because sometimes it's all it takes. Like, for me, I didn't know about college until somebody said, Hey, Jorge, you going to college? And I'm like, I can go to college. They're like, Yeah, you going to college? I'm like, I can go to college. And they're like, Yeah, which, what college are you going to? And I was still stuck in the fact that I could go to college because nobody had planted that yeah, seed, mm -hmm. seed in, my, in, in my mind to let me know that that was something other than. Right. And this is what I want with the children. I want them to see something other than what has been put in front of them. The 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 normal music. And I and don't get me wrong, I love music. I have a family full of artists, promoters, but not everyone is going to be able to be the next puff daddy. You know, so learn the business part of it. If you are going to do music and you cannot become a rapper or, you know, an artist, then why don't you learn the music part? I just want you, our youth, to be able to think out of the box, you know. Don't just get stuck on one thing. And if your dream doesn't happen with that, then you just give up. There are so many other dreams you can pursue. You just have to figure it out. That's, that's the one thing that I like. One of, one of my mentors told me that we got to make sure that we, we have, oh, we got, we got, we, we got one minute. Did, did we have one a, minute. One minute. That we have a, not only a vehicle that we can be healthy with, we have a vehicle that we can express our creativity with, yes. but we also have a vehicle that we can empower other individuals with. So start looking for those three vehicles in your life. You know, so thank Step you out. for joining us. Step out. Step out do of something your comfort different. zone That's and it. do something different. Thank you, know, you so for your So thank you so support. much. Thank you, Cat TV, for making this possible. The Friends for Life Resource Center. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>